the word firefighter is a bit misleading. Sure, these brave men and women boldly run into flames in order to rescue lives and put out fires, but they do so much more. Crews like Station 18 know all about that. Oak Lynn lies along the Pennsylvania border in southern New Jersey. The people there don't see many emergencies, but when they do, Chief Scott Carnes' unit of volunteers respond. On December 30th, 2017, the team stepped up to the plate in a major way. The crew had been just about as busy as they had ever been in the week following Christmas. Just earlier in the day, they responded to an emergency involving a chicken coop that had caught fire. Because of a faulty heating lamp, the coop, housed inside a detached garage, was fully engulfed by the time the crew arrived, according to Chief Carnes. Luckily, their timing couldn't have been better. There were no injuries to personnel and no injuries to animals, Chief Carnes said. The chickens were moved safely to a neighboring farm, so with their work done, the crew packed up and headed back to the station. That's when they received another call. The crew suddenly received an urgent call about a dog trapped in a nearby ice-covered lake. She needed the help of Station 18, and fast. The fire trucks raced toward the scene. There was no time to waste. Shortly after responding, Chief Carnes confirmed the assignment was upgraded to an ice rescue as it was reported to be a dog that had fallen through the ice on our local lake called Newton Creek. There was a complication. The trapped dog was a Sharpe. You might know them as the dogs that have more in common appearance-wise with an uncooked batch of muffin dough rather than canines. But more importantly, they don't deal well with the cold. Though the origin of the Sharpe is unknown, records show that these dogs were used as working dogs in South China, where the climate is tropical and the winters are mild. By contrast, the winters in the Northeast United States are anything but mild. With their dedication to hard work, it benefited the Sharpe's breed to have short coats so they didn't overheat. Of course, it's not that hard to see why it's such bad news when a dog that was bred for warm weather was trapped in a frozen lake. The firefighters needed to move fast to save the dog, who was trapped in a circle of water in the ice. I observed the dog was currently treading water to stay afloat and seemed to be getting weaker, Chief Carnes said. The fire chief further explained the rescue in an interview with People. Battalion Chief Greg Grodzinski and Captain Fred Bartling and deployed our ice rescue sled, he said. They had to crawl or else they'd endanger themselves. Neighbors saw the dog, who firefighters later learned was named Lily, running on the frozen ice before she fell in. That's why this rescue was so daunting. If the firefighters stood up, they wouldn't be able to distribute their weight properly and they could have found themselves in a similar fate. As cautious as they had been, the ice cracked beneath one of the rescuers. He slipped into the icy water, but thankfully, it was only temporary. This was one dangerous job, but they still wouldn't retreat until they had reached Lily. Eventually, Battalion Chief Grudzinski and Captain Bartling reached the dog. To secure the pooch, the firefighters had to get in the water. Had they reached Lily in time, or had she succumbed to the cold water? The shaking dog was secured, and now was the tough part, Chief Karn said. They pulled themselves out to the dog and were able to pull her up into the sled. We then pulled the safety line and towed them in to shore. Lily must have been exhausted, but she was alive. Finally, they moved away from the thin broken ice and one of the firefighters even picked up Lily and carried her the rest of the way. She was likely happy to have a break. After a successful rescue, Chief Karn said it was all in a day's work. Emergency services are the jack of all trades, Chief Karn said. When people don't know who to call, they call the fire department and the police department to solve their issues. Obviously, we're glad to come out as needed. Still, they had one last thing to do. With Lily wrapped up in blankets and warming up, the firefighters located her owner, a man named Walt Hartling, who gleefully posted about her return on Facebook. From what we have heard, Chief Karn said, she seems to be doing very well.